What's up, everyone? All right, so you saw the first video. Five coins that I'll be buying for the next bull run. Prepare to get ready to make as much money as I possibly can. But what else are you gonna buy? You only used a certain portion of your portfolio. What's next? Well, I think it's time we talk about it a little bit, shall we? Let's get it. All right, so last stream, not last stream, last video, we went over a couple different coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance coin, AVAX, and Matic. Those five will be five of the first ones that I buy, and I plan on allotting about 17.5% of my entire portfolio to those five tokens. Now, in order to get the maximum amount of gains, you want to try to get a spread on as many diversified coins as possible to earn as much money as you can. The trick in lies in trying to find the ones that are going to make the most money the fastest that you possibly can. There's a bit of risk that comes along with this that can get exponentially high. Now, I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole, but the next five I'm going to give you are a mix of hey, this is a little bit risky, and hey, this is a little bit not risky in order to maximize gains. That's my idea behind this. Again, I don't buy any of this stuff based on any fundamentals. It's got nothing to do with what's a good company, what's a bad company. I don't care about any of that stuff. It's strictly 100% about the chart, technical analysis, and potential gains. I have no other care besides that. I'm not here to hold good companies. I get people do that, but this is crypto. There are no good companies. Literally none of them make money yet. Now, if you haven't done so, go jump over to 786unlimited.com. I post the pictures of the papers where I actually wrote all this stuff down right here. I actually wrote all this stuff down that I was going to do. I took pictures of what I was thinking, why I was thinking it beforehand, before I ever made this video. So those guys would know what I was going to do up front before anything else came out. If you haven't done so, go jump over there. 786unlimited.com has our Discord, our launch pass, our, our private consults, and our YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Why not? It's free for a month. Sweet. Without further ado, let's jump into it, shall we? Uh, I'm going to start with one of my first tokens. Some of you know it. Some of you may not. But let's see. Sweet. So the first one we're going to talk about uh, is one that kind of underperformed last bull run. And I'll kind of explain that a little bit to you as we go along here. But it's Algorand, Algo USD. Um, I'll show you the chart now and explain what I mean. But uh, this one, I plan on allocating about 3% of my portfolio to. Okay, as we have the chart here laid out, it kind of explains it for you. But I expect to get Algorand uh, between somewhere around 18 to 13 cents or so. Um, I expect that's where the bottom will come in at. Now, it could go lower than that. That's simply a speculative number. Um, it's better to just wait for that bottom to form. Uh, then we'll find a great point to enter. Uh, but from there, as you see, just back to the 786 level, which, by the way, is the same level that it went to last run, back to 786, okay? Just back to 786 here is a 10x multiplier, all right? So whatever I put in this, 10 X's just back to 786. I like that play a lot. Now, what happens if it goes beyond that? Uh, if we go beyond that, um, then we're looking at big, ridiculous numbers. Now, please understand that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not a financial advice. There's not even a high likelihood that these happen yet, but they're more so speculative targets based on Fibonacci retracement and time sequences. All right. We cannot deny Fibonacci retracement. Uh, it's a universal language of math. It simply can't be denied. Uh, it works incredibly well. And for that reason, I'm going to use it. It works amazing. I've proven that time and time again. If we are to break Sniper's Alley, which would be that 786 level, 
and can get over that resistance barrier, that opens up massive gains. 38X, 56X, unreal stuff, right? I don't necessarily think that'll happen. Not so much the point. More so the point is that around $6, if it got up to around $6, I'm going to start thinking about taking profits and getting out completely at that point because that's way up there. But more so that 786 level of around $1.50 to around two twenty five dollars seems like a sweet spot for me for a good 10x. Nice. So up next comes into the risk reward part of this, okay? I can't only buy high risk assets. I've got to throttle back a little bit and manage my own expectations some and realize that not everything needs to be expected to just go way up, all right? I need to I need to find some base here that I don't only buy extremely high risk assets. I want to buy some that are a little bit less risk that I think will still perform pretty well. One of those is XLM or Stellar Lumens, uh, XLM USD. Let's go have a look at the chart now. I'll kind of show you what I mean. Good. So now I think our price point is going to come in somewhere around a nickel or five cents. That's tough. It could come in a little higher than that. And I'm not exactly positive on that level yet. I'm waiting for that bottom to form in a little bit more. Uh, anything in that green box there is a go for me. It could go lower than that, yes, but anything down there is a tremendous gain in the future. So I'm gonna look for that green box to get hit. And if it does get struck, which is, it's between uh, about a five and a half cent, all the way down to three cent. Um, don't tell me it's not possible. We've seen crazier things happen. Um, but let's just assume that, you know, five cents or so comes in, roughly. Back to 786 again, that's 10X. 10x my portfolio for this one i'm only going to put two percent in this one's a little bit less gains and because it's less gains it's also a little bit more predictable so to speak but i don't want to put as much risk into it because it isn't going to be a big of a hitter so i'm going to put two percent in this one for roughly sixteen hundred dollars if i can 10x that that's sixteen thousand dollars off of two percent i mean my goodness that's an incredible number you can scale that back. Obviously, if I say 1600 and that's my 2%, well, you know, yours could be $160 for your 2%. You know what I'm saying? That's just your own portfolio management. And this is me trying to manage my portfolio the safest and most effective way that I can. Now, higher levels here, if it's to get a little crazy, um, which it didn't do last run, uh, it kind of stopped out at 786 as well. Another one that did this. Um, that 43 to 58 cent range is my first target there uh, where I will be taking some profits and closely monitoring because it may stop and may stall out right there. We've seen that before. We have historical data to say so. Next, that upper level at 1272 at about $1.75 is a 30X. Listen, 30X is amazing. If I could take $1,600 and 30X that, yes, please. That's a lot of money, that's $48,000. That's a ton of money, all right? So, and I don't even know if my math's right on that one. Let's do, <laughs> let's make sure my math's right on that. 1,600 times 30X, $48,000, y'all yeah, was correct. Whew, <laughs> so if that happens, that's an amazing return. That's possible, but I'll say not probable. More probable is the 10X that's at that lower 786 level. Now, next is a bigger player in the game, and especially in the world of DeFi. Uh, and this asset dramatically underperformed as well last bull run. I think it's important we take a look at it and see what kind of potential gains we can get here because I think we could do really well with it. That's CRV, USD, or Curve Finance. Big DeFi player. Not important as I don't really care about the fundamentals. I do think they will be around, but more so it's about the chart. Let's have a look. All right, now, important to understand, I think this pulls down farther. Right now, the price is 64 cents. I don't think it's done capitulating. I think we get more fall here. And I'm going to try to grab this between 30 cents or 25 cents or even lower. Um, I've pulled this particular Fibonacci set, excuse me, down to about a quarter here because I think that's about where the price is going to end up falling. Could go lower. Don't hold me to that. Either way, big gains to be made no matter what. Back up to our 786 line is $3.50 to 470. And that makes sense 
based on the fact that other assets, again, ran to this point and failed. Now, is it a guarantee? No, it's not. But that's 16x. I'm allotting 4% of my portfolio in this one. Uh, we could have a big home run here. Um, that's what I'm looking for here on this one. This one's more risk, but more reward. I've shown you other assets here that are going to be less risk, less reward. And this one will be more risk, more reward, right? Uh, on purpose, 3,200 times 16x. That's $51,000 if we run back just to our 786-886 Sniper's Alley area. Now, what if we go a little wild here? And we run up all the way to our take profit levels, which it's never done. So I don't have any evidence that will actually do this, any empirical evidence. However, if it does do this, which many, many assets did last bull run, we could name them off if we really need to. And we'll probably go through some of them in later videos because this is only video two. There'll be some more with many, many more coins to go over. However, if we run up to $17, okay, or 27 bucks, that's an astronomical number. That's a solid 90x. That's insane. If we get 90x, let me just label that for you right now. That's 90x. That's insane. All right. Is that going to happen? Not likely, right? Not likely. We shouldn't hold our breath up for, that, for those kind of numbers. Uh, that's a bit. That's a bit dramatic for anyone, right? 90x. That's 288 thousand dollars potentially. That you could make there if you bought this at 25 cent and it run all the way up to our take profit levels way up high again i don't bank on that i bank on the 16x or or so give me 10x i'll be happy with 10x back to the 786-886 snipers alley area that's where i'll be looking for there's my layout for crv on to the next okay the next one i'm gonna get land basted for a little bit but I think it's important that we manage risk and maximize rewards again. So this next one is based on that. Uh, that's XRP USD. Yeah, I'm sorry. But it's important that we look at the chart and realize what I'm talking about here, because I think there's some gains to be had, especially if things play out. Word of warning here. I'm assuming that the bottom is around 28 cents. It could go lower than that. And if it does, excellent. There's more gains to be had. That's the caveat to what I'm saying here, okay? If this goes down to a quarter or lower, the gains are even higher. But I didn't do that. I just based this on going back to 786 here, okay? I'm only doing 2% of my portfolio on this one, right? I feel like this is more of a sure bet to go to 786 because it's already done it twice in its history. And if it does go to 786 and gives us our gains, excellent. That's a two and a half X. I know that seems like nothing. However, in the event that the SEC case gets settled or things go well, blah, blah, blah. I believe that two X, two and a half X will happen rather easily. I know it's not a lot of it's not a lot of money here to talk about that, but you know, important to say I could turn sixteen hundred, you know, into into four thousand. That's not bad. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. That's one hundred and sixty bucks into four hundred. Okay, can't really complain about that. Still good game. Now, if it gets silly, if it gets silly and goes up here to one two seven two or one four one four in upper take profit levels, well, that lines out to about three dollars to three and a half dollars to four and a half bucks. That's a 10X, I'll take it. Again, $16,000, not gonna complain about that at all. Um, bit of a long shot though, yeah? Bit of a long shot. We haven't seen XRP perform yet. It was a pitiful performer last bull run. In fact, it was one of the worst performing assets of almost all coins. I'm not gonna say all of them. How about top 50 and in the top 10 especially? It was one of the worst performers in the top 10. Now, what if it gets super silly, right? And things go wild. I hope they do for the record, but this is my hedge against things going crazy. This 1600 bucks here is my hedge against things going crazy and finding a little bit of diversity. If we go up here and run all the way up to our 
two fib, which I don't even have on there right now. But if we go all the way up to the two fib, which would be roughly 12 bucks. If we can go that high, that's a 40 X. I don't think we would go much higher than that. It's possible, but not probable. And as the thing says right there, folks, don't hold your breath. Nice. So we have one more left. Rounding out the last five of the first 10 <laughs> will be Cardano, ADA USD. Why did I pick Cardano? Well, again, I feel like there's a good bit of meat on the bones here on the chart. I feel like some gains can be had. 100% nothing to do with fundamental analysis. All technical analysis based on the bull cycle that we've seen play out multiple times already. Let's go have a look at the chart. Now you can kind of see what I mean here. Um, you know, looking at it, it kind of gives me that, it kind of gives me that look that I've fallen really fast, really far. And now there's a good bit of money and, and meat left on the bone here to grasp once we finally do bottom out. As you see that last chart that we looked at for XRP, to 786 was only two and a half times. This 786, if we go to 13 cents, is about $1.60 to $2 and a quarter. All right, that 15 X's from that point. If we only go to around a quarter here, which is also fully possible for Cardano here, depending on how far Bitcoin falls really, right? Uh, if we go there, um, that puts us still roughly in that $1.80 to $2.25 range for a 15X. But it starts to limit these crazy upper numbers up here. Uh, we could have a possible 53X. Anything quarter or below, in my opinion, hey man, I've got to make a move on that. I'm only allotting 2% to this one. That's 1600 bucks again. So... If I can 15x that, what's that number? I can't count that high. 1,600 times 15x. $24,000 just back to this level. And if we go crazy here and run up to one of our take profit lines, which by the way happened the last bull run. Okay. If we can run up to one of those take profit lines and I get anything like a 50x, 1,600 times 50x, that's 80 thousand dollars potential potential eighty thousand dollars that i could make off of two percent of my portfolio which to me is an insane return now these are the top level optimistic massive bull run did amazing targets they're not guaranteed to happen furthermore if you have an influencer tell you that those levels are going to happen easily they're lying to you. That's not how this works. This will be a very long and drawn out process that I don't even think really gets moving until the end of 2023, going into 2024. And then once we go into 2024, it'll be a little rocky at first, but I believe we'll start moving on through, especially through spring, summer, all the way around wrapping out until the next year, about a year and a half after that happening happens, we should start to flatten out again and find another bear market. Now, that's not a guarantee. Those are just FIB-based time cycles that seem to be playing out almost every single time. Now, I'll leave you with this. This is only the second video, all right? There are going to be more of these. This was only the first 17.5% in the first video and 12% in this video, right? So that leaves me... A good chunk of money to put in, that's what, 17, 19, 29 and a half percent, almost 30 percent, right? I've got 70 percent of my portfolio left to still dive into other things. Well, what am I going to buy? What am I going to do? I'll explain that in the next video. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate every single one of y'all for showing up and watching these videos. I can't do it without y'all. Thank you all. I'll leave you with this in the words of the late, great, notorious B.I.G. Not Tupac, but B.I.G. You could have been anywhere in the world. You chose to be here with me. I appreciate that exponentially. Thank you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.